New Form Digital's 12-episode series The Fourth Door was made to be viewed on mobile phones via Verizon's new Go90 platform. But last month, the production company, co-founded by a group of Hollywood heavyweights including Imagine Films chairman Ron Howard and Brian Grazer, screened the show the old-fashioned way at the Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Afterwards, the crowd hiked down the street to celebrate with a party at the historic Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. The event featured appearances by the show's co-creators, Tony E. Valenzuela and Jarrett Sleeper, as well as a customized trailer that traveled the country this fall promoting in the series. Because of the audience that we're going after, it really lends us to be super creative with what we can do on a marketing front. The truck is uh, six stops around the nation. This is actually the final stop. It's actually bits and pieces of the fourth door with a little bit of an experience mixed in. We have an actor that's on board that's playing one of the characters in the show. And it's a way to get people to get excited about watching the fourth door on Go90. It's been um, in Arizona. It's been in Austin, Texas, Nashville, Oklahoma, mainly visiting college campuses and college towns. Verizon is a great partner for us in this Go90 project. We have six shows with, with Go90. Uh, the fourth door was something they saw as a pilot and believed in the vision of, uh, and so they greenlit that into a 12-episode into a series. We have five others coming out on the platform over the next year, uh, and Jody's working on it, marketing activations just like this truck for each of those. I think that when people say, you know, what is Go90? If you, as soon as you kind of define it more as an app on your phone, people get it right away. I think Go90 is a great um, platform for, for programming because I do think that a lot of people are watching shows on their phone. Um, the idea, the concept of taking your phone and turning it side, sideways, going 90, um, is a great idea. How many things did you have an emotional connection to that was like a crappy tape recording off the radio growing up or like, or like a VHS tape that was worn out with weird tracking on a tiny screen you still connect to it? Like that's not a big leap to me to the phone. My most profound movie experiences happened on like a 13 inch screen with a built in VCR and me and my siblings would take it and put it on a chair. There's a chair that my mom had painted with like tiger stripes on it and a tiger face on the seat. And we just move that chair around and put this TV on it. And that's where like all the movies that changed my life happen. My grandmother gave me an old black and white television. Um, this was like when I was really, really young. She was really nice. And I think I think I was like nine or 10. And it was this portable television. It was a POS, it barely worked. But it was so cool because could, I could watch like cartoons and stuff and it made me feel that there was a, uh, that there was a bigger world outside. Our emotional involvement, connection to this yeah. device, isn't that strange? Yeah. And it's like a logical leap to me to like tell stories yeah. through the, it. The world has changed so much in the last I would say in the last five years in the last ten years in such a big way that I feel I really feel grateful that I there I work with people who are brave enough to embrace the change Completely. and not desperately try to hold on to the past try new things